Hey, what is going on guys? Hex competitive back again today. It's a brand new video and as always down in the title below be the topic we're talking about today. And that is the top 10 light novels for 2016. And it's the end of the year. Obviously, it's a little bit past. It's actually the new year. So, I just want to do this because one, I thought it was interesting. And a lot of the shows I do watch are actually light novel. Light novels are slowly like taking over the anime world, it seems like. There's just so many of them coming out. And I'm going to go through the top 30 really quick here and kind of skip from basically, the, you know, the first, from 30 to 10 really quick here. And j j just name some name some animes for you guys to just check out here. Because there's some a couple actually like interesting little, little articles and sources that one, Crunchyroll had, and at the same time, my anime list had so I want to start with the the my anime list one these aren't the overall worldwide ones but these are the ones that were at a, a big store it's called uh chosen book tower and basically it just it straight up states web published novels and light novels with anime adaptations continue to dominate so this is something that's really gonna be interesting for the future of like just anime in general because light novels are dominating when they come into anime form it just boosts the merchandise and one thing about light novels is they usually cost more than manga and like i know here in the u.s for example there are a few dollars more usually like i'm pretty sure my uh my uh re-zero light novel was a few more bucks like maybe four bucks or more than my manga one even and the interesting th thing about this is the sales are gonna be a lot lower than manga obviously right so the most interesting thing is they're so much lower and it's hard to dictate how much money they technically make because they cost a little bit more given i don't know how they are in japan though but let's start with number 10 here so number 10 is a series i actually don't know it's called regarding uh reincarnated to slime that's an interesting one. Don't know anything about that. I do not. I, I do not believe this one has an anime. I'm pretty. I'm like 100% sure this one does not have an anime. And the next one actually comes from uh, uh, Dan Machi. Uh, I, I think it's a spinoff one. I'm not sure, but they call it Hanzuki no Gekko Kujo. And I probably butchered that, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Dan Machi, or is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? Is number eight. But Dan Machi is number nine. But is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? Is eight. And Gate is number seven. I haven't seen Gate. I've heard some good things and some not so good things. But now this one got me. The Irregular at the Magic High School. Number six. So seeing that at number six is really interesting to me because obviously you guys know I just recently reviewed it. And it's been two years since the last uh, season. And Madhouse did it. So that's something that I just kind of like, well, okay, Madhouse doesn't like making season two. Um, they like making it more so than what they used to. And because I'm pretty sure they got a new director from what I heard, actually. I heard that from Digibro today, actually, um, in this video. So they have a movie coming out, and that, that kind of just shows, hey, this is still popular. There's movies coming out. It's ranked sixth in light novels at this store. And it's actually, I'm pretty sure, ranked really freaking high on the yearly one. But we'll get to the yearly one in a second. Now, the next one is... Overlord. Overlord is something I've heard about. I thought Overlord was a manga. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is Overlord a manga and light novel? Or is it just a light novel? Now, coming at number four, volume two of... At least that's the picture it has up. I'm not sure if that's... I, I, I don't think that's what it means. It's volume two. But, but ReZero coming in at number four. Yes, ReZero, my baby, is top of the world right now it went from a web novel that barely had any fan base that accidentally got discovered to being number four at you know a giant bookstore in japan and number three is actually sword Art online sword Art online has been dethroned at this store <laughs> and now this one this one's really gonna get you this one's really gonna get you guys this one if you've made it this far if you made it this far in the video definitely leave down in the comments below what you guys think about this one Leave once again. Leave down in the comments below what you guys think about this one. Once I read it off, number two, Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash. Yeah, yeah. It, it, just the fact that it is at a bookstore, you know, shows in Tower bookstore, and it was number two, and it beat so Sao. It beat Sao in Japan. Are you kidding me? It beat ReZero? I mean, given ReZero is a new light novel, right? But still, ReZero is a big deal. <laughs> ReZero Re is new, but it's a big deal, right? So, just to see it get number two blows my mind. Ahead of the Irregular at the Magic High School. Ahead of Sword Online. Ahead of ReZero. And what else was ahead of, actually? Gate. It's ahead of Gate. It's ahead of Dan Machi. Or, yeah, is it wrong to pick up Girls in the Dungeon? Is it, it's ahead of all those. 
But the one thing it did not dethrone was Kona Suba. And I was interested to see Kona Suba actually at number one. But actually, guys, I think I'm, I'm probably actually going to separate this video from... I'll probably put, I'll probably put like, Shows in Towers uh, top top uh, 10 selling, uh, you know, light novels. Then I'll probably make a separate video on just, like, the top 10 selling mangas in the world. That's probably what I'll actually end up doing. But, uh, yeah. What do you guys think of that? That That's pretty crazy. I mean, I, I so the biggest moving thing, like, the biggest moving one that probably went from, like, being in the back to the front is Hey 2 Jinsai no Grimgar. Something that didn't even get published by Yen Press until like a month ago, or two, actually like two months ago, which I found it crazy. It's not in English translated yet. So, as always, guys, you've been Hex. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, X25, and let me know what the hell you guys think of these this crazy ass, this is crazy ass sales, man. But yeah, well, I will have the um, the 2016's top 10 best selling anime out today. Or tomorrow, but I'll probably have it out before this video actually, so yeah. Peace.